<laughs> Quizzy Wizzy, the mysteries of Earth are waiting for you. Subscribe! What happens during an earthquake? The ground shakes and moves, or the wind blows very hard? The correct answer is, the ground shakes and moves. If it were just strong wind, that would be unpleasant but not scary. But when the ground itself starts to tremble, that's truly dangerous. During an earthquake, everything can move, crack, or even fall apart, from the floor to tall buildings. Earthquakes happen when giant plates beneath the Earth's surface shift and press against each other. When one can't handle the pressure anymore, the ground begins to shake. It might last only a few seconds, but sometimes it's powerful enough to change the shape of mountains and shores. After an earthquake, people rebuild homes, roads, and bridges. Oh, and don't forget to check if your favorite mug didn't jump off the shelf, it might have gotten scared too. What happens during a volcanic eruption? Hot lava flows from the mountain, or it just rains? The correct answer is, hot lava flows from the mountain. If it were only rain, you'd just grab an umbrella and go outside. But when lava starts pouring out, it's time to run the other way. Volcanoes, wake up when pressure builds up deep inside the earth from hot gas and molten rock. Lava is melted rock that bursts out during an eruption. It flows down the mountain, cools, and becomes new stone. Some volcanoes erupt loudly with smoke, ash, and flashes of light, others just quietly sigh. Scientists watch volcanoes closely to predict when they'll wake up. And after an eruption, the land nearby becomes rich and fertile. Just don't try to roast marshmallows near the crater, it's hotter than any campfire. What causes a tsunami? Just heavy rain or an underwater earthquake? The correct answer is an underwater earthquake. If it were just rain, you could grab an umbrella and go outside. But when an earthquake happens under the sea, the water rises and turns into giant waves. These waves are called tsunamis and can hit the shore with great force. A tsunami forms when the ocean floor suddenly shifts, the water above it rises and moves toward the land. Sometimes it's like the ocean decided to run a marathon on land. Scientists monitor tsunamis with special ocean sensors. This helps warn people in advance and save lives. And if you see the water suddenly retreating from the shore, run to higher ground, don't try to take a selfie with the waves. What is a tornado? A whirlwind twisted like a spiral, or just wind? The correct answer, a whirlwind twisted like a spiral. A strong wind might blow off hats and umbrellas, but a tornado is much more dangerous. It's a column of air that spins very fast and can lift objects from the ground. When a tornado passes through a village, houses, trees, and cars are set in motion. Tornadoes form when warm and cold air collide. Scientists study tornadoes to predict their occurrence. This helps warn people and keep them safe. And if you see a tornado on the horizon, don't try to have a picnic nearby, even if the wind whispers, hello. What is a geyser? A fountain of hot water from the ground, or just a regular spring? The correct answer is, a fountain of hot water from the ground. A regular spring gives water to drink, but a geyser is a real natural show. It shoots hot water and steam as if the Earth decided to throw a fireworks display in the open air. Geysers are most often found in volcanic areas where hot magma chambers lie underground. Geysers sleep and wake up at specific intervals, sometimes every few minutes, sometimes hours. Scientists study geysers to understand how water and steam behave under pressure. This helps predict eruptions and explore processes deep inside the Earth. Tourists should keep a safe distance, or they might accidentally get hit by nature's water glove. 
What causes an avalanche? Snow slides down the mountain or heavy rain on the plain? The correct answer is snow slides down the mountain. An avalanche is a huge mass of snow that rushes down the mountain, sweeping everything in its path. If it were just rain on the plain, you could walk safely under an umbrella. But an avalanche can sweep away trees, rocks, and even houses. Avalanches usually happen after heavy snowfall, sudden thawing, or rapid temperature changes. The speed can reach tens of kilometers per hour, and in a few minutes it can cover large areas. Some mountain regions have observation stations to warn people in advance. Scientists and rescuers study avalanches to reduce damage and save lives. Sometimes snow can slide even without an obvious reason, just to run down the mountain. And if you think you can slide right before an avalanche, Think twice. What is a water spout? A spinning column of water or just wind? The correct answer is a spinning column of water. A water spout is a rotating column of water rising from the sea. If it were just wind, you could keep your hat on and enjoy the breeze. But a water spout can lift boats, trees, and other objects, moving very fast and suddenly. Scientists study water spouts to understand their movement and predict their appearance. Sailors and tourists should stay away to avoid getting caught. And if you see one from afar, don't try to jump into a boat and ride it, even if it looks fun. What is an underwater volcanic eruption? Just bubbles appear or lava flows on the ocean floor? The correct answer is lava flows on the ocean floor. Underwater volcanoes erupt less often than regular ones, but their power is just as strong. Lava underwater cools quickly and forms new rocks, creating amazing underwater landscapes. If it were just bubbles, you could dive nearby and watch. These eruptions happen where the Earth's crust is thin and gas and magma pressure is high. Sometimes new islands appear or the coastline expands. And please, don't try to heat your tea over lava, your cup might just disappear. What is the northern lights? Just clouds or beautiful lights in the sky? The correct answer is beautiful lights in the sky. The northern lights are a display of lights in the sky over northern countries, especially in winter nights. If it were just clouds, they wouldn't dance or change colors. The lights can be green, pink, purple, moving as if an artist is painting in the sky. The phenomenon occurs when solar particles collide with Earth's atmosphere. Sometimes it looks like the sky is hosting a dance contest with stars as judges. It's one of the most beautiful and magical natural phenomena you can witness. Locals say the northern lights bring luck. Tourists often travel north specifically to see it. A camera might not capture the full beauty, but your smile definitely will. What is a mud volcano eruption? Mud and gas come out, or just rain? The correct answer is, mud and gas come out. Mud volcanoes look like real volcanoes, but instead of lava, they erupt clay and gas. If it were just rain, you could walk around and splash in puddles. But the mud shoots high and creates funny shapes, as if the earth is playing with clay. Mud volcanoes occur where the ground is soft and gas pockets lie under the surface. Sometimes they spurt with small explosions, throwing mud several meters high. Scientists study them to understand gas movement and underground processes. Mud volcano eruptions are rarely dangerous, but they look impressive. Locals sometimes jump around the mud flows as if in a natural SPA. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.